Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. We will start our review with this footage from yesterday by Icelandic Coast Guard. Uh, Icelandic Coast Guard helicopter flew over the erupting fissure as you see here from the south to the north to the west side of the erupting fissure line which consisted of 10 erupting fissures in one straight line spanning for 3.4 kilometers when it was in its biggest power. The fissures altogether had been emitting 2000 cubic meters of lava every single second and it was the most powerful eruption of all when it comes to the power at its start. 20,000 cubic meters of magma had accumulated prior to the eruption and the earthquake swarm preceding the eruption lasted only two hours so it was rather short notice Blue Lagoon had been evacuated only one hour and 45 minutes before the eruption started and lava had been spreading rather fast at, at one kilometer per hour here you see the flow which was moving towards Blue Lagoon Road, but it never made it there, luckily. The closest lava came to Blue Lagoon Road was a few meters, not to this location, but somewhat further south. And this is the northern part of the fissure. Storas Kokfat mounting to the front, the biggest one along Sunukur Giger Crater Road. This is how volcano looks right now, about 10 o'clock in the evening in Iceland. And as you see, there is still a lot of activity. We have about uh, 3 to 4 erupting cones active, very close to the crater which erupted longest uh, during the past eruption, which started on the 16th of March. So right next to it, we have this uh, crater. Just opposite to Sunukur crater, the ancient crater from 2000 years ago. And this is view from the south to the north. And this is the point where lava ran over Nesvengo Road, the peninsula road uh, west of the town. See, it just touched it, it just ran over uh, and it set it on fire. All those black smokes are coming from the burning asphalt. So the town had been saved by the wall. You can see it clearly here. And this is as f how far lava went. It had been moving one kilometer per hour and it had been advancing. I'm rather sure they will restore this road very quickly. And then the road goes behind the wall. It was smart to build the wall uh, uh, west of the road to save it but not in this section they could have extended it so lava never made it to the ocean but there are some flows also here now most of activity is there where you see it next to Hagafatla slightly further north so and there's much lava coming from the volcano so it's unlikely this flow will expand this looks to be the final version Wilhelm Gunnarsson of uh, Icelandic newspaper called the Vizir took this picture of the lava flows uh, north of the town. This is the point where the lava went uh, over the road, as you know. Um, significant part of the road had been flooded by the lava and lava went to the west all around Grindavik. It is the map published today by Icelandic Met Office, which shows all the lava flows and where the lava went. As you see here to the north, close to the lagoon, lava didn't make it to the road by a few meters, literally. And the other northern flow also didn't reach the road by a few hundred meters. So I'm rather sure that the lagoon will be reopened rather quickly. Um, even though 
volcano might be erupting next to Sunnukur as it was the case back in uh, April and May. Until the 9th of May, volcano had been erupting. At the same time, Blue Lagoon had been open, as you know. So, um, it's very likely we will see similar scenario now. Volcano might go on for some time at lower rates, and Blue Lagoon will reopen. They don't even have to restore the road as infrastructure in this area is not damaged in any way. I know, but they ha they need to uh, build a new road to Grindavik as lava ran over here over the Grindavik road uh, right north of the town. So this is important road and they would need to do it rather quick. I don't know when they will start with that. This volcano is still erupting. Most of activities here next to Sunnukur crater. Now here, here is the Sunnukur in the middle of the official line. Uh, somewhat closer to the south, that's where we have uh, those three cones, three craters erupting uh, at the moment. Very close to the cone from uh, March. I will go over the news from Icelandic Met Office. The last update was published today in the afternoon. And it says that since yesterday afternoon, the activity at the volcanic fissure at Sunukur Crater has decreased significantly. The activity in the eruption has been on similar um, rate uh, last night and this morning, but the eruption turbulence has been constant since last night. No explosive activity has been seen since yesterday afternoon, but steam explosions occurred as lava flowed into the cracks and came into contact with groundwater at Hagafat. Activity is uh, closest to the crater that was the longest active in the eruption that began on March 16th, and activity in several parts uh, of the fish north of it. The lava flow is now greatest in the area around Hagafat, it means here. Uh, the flow of lava has slowed down along Green Devikur. Uh, road towards Svartsengi, it means here this flow slowed down and at the, fan, at the defenses west of Grindavik uh, there is no uh, flows like active flows here to the west they, are, they, they slow it down they say um, experts from the Im image measurements team at the natural History Institute and the Land Survey of Iceland went on a measurement flight over the eruption centers. The conditions for a real photography were challenging, so the plume covered part of the lava bed that was formed at the beginning of the eruption. The, di the data obtained during the aerial photography are being further processed together with the use of satellite images in order to get a clearer picture of the lava flow during the first hours of the eruption. Yet another map of the lava flows from yesterday. In fact, uh, lava went somewhat further. All this area here to the right bottom had been flooded by the lava as well, reaching this mountain. This is uh, the lava flow in the first few hours after the start of the eruption. So it went more to the south here. And it ran along the walls. You see, Grindavik town had been besieged by lava from all sides. And here, lava never crosses the road. It's just two meters from the road, really. It stopped there. And this flow also stopped here, as for today. So, Blue Lagoon is safe. But it did touch the wall, which goes around Blue Lagoon and uh, Jutarm power plant. They could have saved Nesvago Road if they would build the wall uh, just uh, north of the road. And they went around the town, but they could have built it this way. But nobody knew where the lava will go, so still, it's worked out rather well. This fissure was very close to the wall anyway, so if it would open somewhat further south, town would be in great danger. So we were lucky that fissures were... Uh, north of the walls got really safe at the time. Here you see the video how lava had been flowing uh, by the electric power lines yesterday. And 
they took the catchit fire to the top here as you see I'm surprised they built them of wood because it looks like wood though I'm not 100% sure and this is a live view from Hussafat from the southeast of erupting cones so this is how it looks from the other side so here you see one two uh, three cones uh, very distinct and visible uh, three craters which are erupting at the same time sooner or later we will have one or two craters left like it was back uh, in late uh, March and through April we had first two craters erupting and by the end uh, of April only one so we might see very similar development also here very hard to say when this eruption will end but most of the lava went out that's for sure let's compare it to a balloon which is inflated to the limit and then when it pierced all the air goes out of the balloon uh, immediately and uh, Fagadal's fat was a different case it was more like a pierced tire at some point which was leaking air was leaking for a long time from the tire and but the, the air was still there this was not a balloon explosion as we have seen here is a different type of beast we are dealing with here at Sunukar. As lava accumulates close to the surface and the big amounts, and then this balloon explodes and all the lava goes out and uh, eruption ends. Fagaras uh, felt uh, supposed to supply from a deep uh, chamber, was, it was leaking in a way. For a long time. Here you see those four erupting cones. It's more like a fascio about a few hundred meters long, close to Sun Nukur. And this is the view from Hagafat Mountain. Turn it somewhat to the north. And this is this afternoon at 3:43. And I will show you how it looks like right now in the night. Here we are ending our review, and I wish you a good night, or good morning, or good day, wherever you are. God bless you. Be well.